We're here at South by Southwest with Jeff Nolan, the hard rock historian. Uh, he's going to take us through a pretty awesome exhibition that he's got here uh, with Hard Rock, and focusing on some of the legends of music that we're gone to soon. So, Jeff, let's hear it. Who's up first? Well, we're pretty proud of this whole collection. We've uh, we've taken a lot of our greatest memorabilia from our cafes and hotels and casinos and sent it around the country all year long. And the 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 collection we brought here to South by Southwest at the Fader Fort is called Gone Too Soon, and it pays tribute to a lot of the artists who passed a little bit before their time. And we're standing right here by the Bob Marley. Ah! <laughs> this is an amazing piece. This Guild 12 string is the guitar that Bob used to record the song, Is This Love? It's really a piece of history. and. Yeah, we're just so proud to be able to be stewards of it for a while in our collection and share it with the folks here at South by Southwest. You can't talk about artists that are gone too soon without talking about Kurt Cobain. You know, Kurt became sort of a charter member of the 27 Club. And, you know, the 27 Club obviously includes Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Jim Morrison, Amy Winehouse, Kurt. Brian Jones from the Rolling Stones, who doesn't get mentioned enough in that in, in that uh, in the in that club, but this is an amazing display. This is a guitar that Kurt played really really early in his development as a musician. It belonged to his uh, to his aunt Mary Mary Earl, and he would go over there and he would record at her home. She was a musician herself. And, and he was really sort of just working out his style on this very instrument. And then, of course, we have handwritten uh, a work in progress here from Kurt. This is uh, this is really an amazing display. It, it, it's a great glimpse into one of the most important artists of the 20th century. Really, the later generations, John Lennon. Of everything we have at South by Southwest. This is my personal favorite. I have a beautiful sweater that Buddy Holly wore on the 1958 tour he did of the UK, which was really an important moment in rock history because it inspired so many English rock stars. Which ones were in oh, attendance? Oh, the for? Beatles? <laughs> uh, you know, maybe you heard of them. Um, an amazing piece, but the stuff that gets a little, a little bit more obscure in the Hard Rock collection is really fun to talk about. And this, in my opinion, is the best we have. This was Tommy Alsup's wallet. Tommy was Buddy's guitar player on the uh, Winter Dance Party tour, the 1959 tour, the the plane crash tour. He very famously lost a coin toss with Richie Valens for the last seat on the airplane. Tommy had a letter waiting for him. It was a check, actually, in Fargo, North Dakota, where they were headed. So he gave Buddy his wallet so that Buddy would have his ID to go pick up this check. This came out of the wreckage of the Buddy Holly plane crash. Absolutely amazing piece. And if you look at this little thing right here, this one piece of paper. It's a Western Union receipt. This is Tommy wiring his wife $50 from the road, just sending her some money home from him out working. The date on it is February 2nd, 1959. That night the plane went down. Now historically you'll read, oh, they, you know, they died on the, uh, February 3rd. And that's technically true, but it was like 1 in the morning. So it was really the night of February 2nd. Amazing. And if you're a guitar nerd, that's even better. The big white one right here. Yeah. This is a this is a receipt for Tommy also buying his Fender Bassman amp in 1958 for $70. <laughs> Go try to buy a 1958 Fender Bassman right now. Let me know how that works out for you. How much would that go for? Five, six grand, easy, wow. easy, on a good day. 
it's not all 1959. It's, you know, especially with the Gone Too Soon tour, we have way too many contemporary-ish artists that died too young. And Lisa Left Eye Lopez from TLC is a really great example. She was, I mean, her death in the car accident was just, it was just freakish. It just, you know, nobody saw it coming. And, you know, TLC came from that sort of house that the Supremes built, that great girl group kind of legacy. And more than just being a member of the group, she was wildly creative. And she was a writer or a co-writer at the very least on so many of their major hits. A truly, truly creative artist. And gone too soon, man. And she wore this outfit on the Crazy Sexy Cool Tour. How about Amy? I really like this dress. I think it says a lot about Amy. Did that one? Yeah, yeah, this thing's amazing. Let's, uh... Let's open it up. Please. All right. Wow. Wow. Amy gave this to us in 2008 at the Nelson Mandela Tribute Show in London. She gave it to us personally. So this is really a true treasure of the Hard Rock Collection because, I mean, it's one thing to have memorabilia and have things that, that folks enjoy. Obviously, we love sharing it and being stewards of it. But when an artist of the gravity of Amy Winehouse personally gives us something, I'm not going to lie, we get a little emotional. All right. Jimi Hendrix. Look, man, there's electric guitar players, and then there's Jimi Hendrix. If you take... If you make a list of the greatest electric guitar players in music history, Jimi Hendrix, everybody else. That's the way it is. Everybody knows that. The guy was the embodiment of the instrument. Charter member of the 27 Club. And just... I mean, we're talking about a cat who had a really short career, whose recorded output is still influencing people in 2013. Jimi Hendrix's shadow still looms over anybody who straps on an electric guitar. And this is a really great one. This is a, this is a Gibson SG that Jimi played on the Dick Cavett Show in 1969, shortly after Woodstock. An amazing piece of history. He did the song Isabella and the song Machine Gun on this song on Dick Cavett. Guitar nerds see this thing and lose their minds. 